Hello, humans and not humans alike, and good ever applies to you. Today we are back on Mountain Blade Warband, the tale of the High King, where, for once, we're actually not at war with anybody. I just realized that. Yep, not a single war going on right now. For us, anyway. So we have technically destroyed the Vagers, but they still have a couple of lords, so they're, like, um, holding out for a bit. But they're, for all intents and purposes, they're dead. We're just waiting for the official announcement. So, now we are going to Kara to drop off King Yargalik. Small band of enemies spotted near Derim. 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 How many small bands of enemies are there exactly? Yeah, I really don't give a shit about thieves. Oh, they're having a tournament. That's great. Manage garrison. Uh, here's King Yarglick. Add him to my collection. Wait, right, who do I got in here? Let's see. I have Sanjur Khan. <laughs> I got no annoying. Who last annoying? Aid annoying. Tanj annoying. Desp annoying. Boyer Mandera, <laughs> Emir Dashwal, Sultan Hakim, Emir Tredian, and King Yaglik. So I have three leaders! <laughs> ah, in my jail cell! That's, that's, oh, that is so beautiful. You make me feel so young. A song to be sung, strikes to be won, and wonderful flames to be flown! Alright then, uh, I'll place a bet on myself, of course. Go ahead and fight in the next round. Ooh, Daz, aim at the king! I'm just kidding, this is a tournament. You're supposed to hold still and let me beat you unconscious. Be, uh, literally supposed to just go, behold my amazing skills and let me beat you. Because I am the king. Hey, hey, it's, oh yeah, Behester's on my team that time. Nice. Go ahead. Fight next round. Oh. Well, this is problematic. Semi-problematic. Yeah, but I'm not moving. My aim is deadly accurate, and the AI is stupid and gets stuck in everywhere. Alright, set. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, veteran fighter. Oh, that was funny. Uh, <laughs> well, at least you were just knocked out and not killed, like my usual. <laughs> Yeah, we're green, okay. Ah, uh, for a second I thought I knocked out another one. And they're all stuck on the walls for some reason. Hilarious, but... Ah, <laughs> uh, this is... Oh, javelin. Mm. I have some skill with throwing weapons, so this actually isn't that bad. You're supposed to let me... There you go! Good hired blade! Go down, when I tell you to. 
Go ahead, fight in the next round. Oh, fear the might of the King Mactir! Your new overlord and future ruler of Coloradia! Go ahead, and fight next round! Alright then, dude, uh, would you mind, uh, holding still for just one second? There you go. And champion fighter knocked unconscious. That's what happens when you mess with me. Uh, visit your brewery? No, thank you. Tavern, arena. Go to castle. There shouldn't be anyone in the castle, really. Yep, nobody. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's leave. And I kind of don't want to screw around with my honor any more than I have to. Because, well, um, yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we sort of it took a hit when we kept uh, refusing to give up prisoners. Hmm. And since we're not going to be at war for a bit, I should probably deposit most of my troops. You see, the larger your party, the harder it is to maintain morale. So I should probably get rid of most of my troops, since... King Elgar has announced his allegiance to King of Vegas and joined King of Rodox. Uh... Count Hugo, Hugo. I... Just hoping most of them don't join the Rodox. <laughs> join the Swadians. They'll be the easiest for me to kill, please. Out of what's left. Oh, really? You're just harassing my poor farmers now that you can't touch this? Men is just. Uh, no, no, no. Manage the garrison. Alright. Give all. Give all. Give all. Try not to cry. <laughs> Work so hard. To get all of his damn troops. Ugh. Oh yeah, I got rid of everyone's horses, didn't I? Well, shit. Oops. Well, everyone has at least, um... Wait. Let me check my party again. <laughs> How many people do we have without horses? And will it actually impact me very much? Just one, two, three, four. Alright, so I need four horses. There's some armor for you. Then I guess a bent heavy crossbow I didn't even notice I had. Whee! Alright, now then. Hello, wife. I'm home. How do you do? Uh, what's the kingdom like now? Uh, just grant one of my best. The thief. Emerald. And Harold. Alright, then Harold it is. Alright, who's extremely pissed off? Derrigan and, uh, Olaf. And Remold. And, damn, that is a lot of unassigned bitches. Um... Derrigan had it worse.
、えーえー、っとね、えー yeah, we shall speak later, honey. Now, time for me to leave, and, um, guards, any of these guys, uh, make a sudden move. Just execute them, please. The game won't let me imprison them. I'd even take the honor hit if I had to. Just let me put them in jail so I don't have to deal with them. Alright then, uh, just give everyone horses for now, until we're ready to go back to war. And this will be a good time to actually, you know, go up north, kill some bandits, come down south, so I can assign all of this property here that we have that, um, definitely needs to be given out. Because there's a lot of it. Never mind, and here we go, Bunduk. Here we go, Bunduk, heavy saddle horse. Alright then, let's go kill this guy. He looked at me funny, and he was chasing around villagers. Uh, Count Gyarth is known as the King of Vegas, joined King of Swadia. Hello! Who the hell are you? Um, they know me as McTeer. Mark it down, you should be hearing a lot of me. And, alright, uh, I want to say this one surrender or die. All right, I forgot how a uh, few units we had now. Oh, well. kill! Charge! Oh, shit, we only had 39, they had 40, and I didn't even check anything, did I? Like, what kind of units they had. You know, the good stuff that you're supposed to check. Well, they went down quick enough. I got no problem. Like so much chaff. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. They apparently never recorded them sounds for like women victory sort of thing. So besides my hero units, everyone else is very eerily silent. Yeah, of course, Warrior Larkwin got away. Because why wouldn't he get away? I mean, none of you know how to chase down somebody and murder them. Why do I even have you people in this army for? If you can't kill someone decently. Alright, um... Where should I go? Hmm... Notes. Let me check the factions, see how things are going. Uh, Kingdom of Vegas <laughs> occupies nowhere. Uh, once these people leave, um, the faction will die. Uh, King Yark is currently in prison. And let's see, Swadia and the Rodox are the only ones left. They apparently have no issue with me. And they're currently at war with the Rodox. And our truce with the Rodox expires in three days. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see what- I actually don't know what kind of bandits the Swadians have to deal with. So let's go hang out with the Swadians for a bit. Let's go hang out in Swadia. 
How is King Graveth giving orders? He's dead. Alright, forest bandits. Okay, yeah, they have forest bandits, and these guys have mountain bandits. Yeah, yeah, your luck has run out, wretch. Judge! Try not to hit a tree, please. It's time for you all to die. That, these force bandits are pretty weak! Well then again, having about 39 people just charge straight at you would probably be pretty painful. <laughs> ah, I love the smell of death in the morning. Alright then, let's keep exploring. Maybe we'll run into a few of the Swadian lords and we'll pop in and say hi. Alright, these guys have Count Hugu, Count Yarth, Count Rumada, Urumuda's party. Hmm. It's pretty well. I mean, right now they have a garrison of around two, four hundred, <laughs> with the uh, Ramudu over there. Really? I don't see why you need to be bothering me. Such as that you fail as an assassin. Strange. That one didn't seem like your ordinary troublemaker. He didn't drink all that much. He just stood there quietly and washed the door. You may wish to consider whether you have any enemies to know you're in town. A pity that blood had to be stilled in my establishment. Eh, yeah, whatever. And now I can't put away my damn sword either, so... Oh, wait. A farmer? They're usually only in town for one reason. My lord, you look like a man of the sword and someone who can help us. Will you hear my plea? What is the matter, my good man? A band of brigands have taken refuge in our village. They take everything we have, force us to serve them, and do us much evil. If one of us so much as breeds a word of protest, they kill the poor soul on the spot right away. Our lives have become unbearable. I risked my skin and ran away to find someone who can help us. Why don't you go to the lord of your village? You should take care of the vermin. I did, sir, but our lord's men did not let me see him, and said he was occupied with more important matters, and that we should deal with our own problem ourselves. Please, sir. You look like a man of valor and a fearsome warrior, and you have no doubt many friends and soldiers at your service. If there is anyone who can help us, it's you. All right, where's your village? God bless you, sir. Our village is in Milan. It's not too far from here. All right, then let's just uh, get rid of some of this stuff. We definitely don't need it. Yeah, my horse is all armor, no speed. <laughs> so, all right, where is the Ibron? Uh... Here it is. Let's go and say hi. Not more forest bandits. Poverty of the village of Ibram is unbearable. Only a handful of people are strong enough to work in the fields, many of which are becoming overgrown with weeds. The rest are weak and malnourished. I've already fled elsewhere. The draft animals have long since starved or eaten. Although a few carcasses still lie on the outskirts, their bones gnawed by wild beasts. 
Remember that the sealers in the Triumph Islands were launched to count to remove the, of the Kingdom of Swadia. Those infested by 54 Spaniards, the population is indifferent to you. Well, let's rectify that, shall we? Time to kill bandits. Karen! Oh my god, half of them are about to be stuck on the damn fence, aren't they? What if my sword just was just knocked unconscious? How unfortunate. As I said, horse bandits. It's quite weak. I'm literally just cutting through them while standing on top of a horse. That is barely taking any damage. This is wonderful. Please, farmers, get knocked out first. Just, I'd hate to actually lose a full sword system. <laughs> I'd prefer to see farmers got knocked out and died, please. And as you can see, we have victorious. Uh, take it as you just do. And we'll be leaving. Alright, let me go visit the king. I don't think I've seen the king in a while. Ah, oh, there, there's King Harless. Hmm. I am Maktia. I am King Harless, the ruler of the King of Swadia, and the lord of Suno Praven, Erglon Castle, Snuzda Castle, Asgard Noma. They say you have defeated Lord of Cotton, but I'll be true to see these guys. Uh, hell no. I met in my travels one who calls himself Lady Soul of Suno. Oh, really? It's not everyone who dares mention that name in my presence. I'm not sure whether to reward you for your bravery or punish you for your impudence. Very well, I won't indulge your curiosity, but listen closely, because I do not wish to speak of this matter again. If Sola thinks she should be queen of Swadians, well, King Estric had a kind heart and doted on his daughter, but a good-hearted king who doesn't use his head can be a curse to his people. If Sola may tell you stories of warrior queens of old, but you might also recall that all the old legends end in the same way, the Swadians crush underfoot for the armies of the Kalratic Emperor. Those who weep for the plight of a Swadian princess denied her father's throne should reflect instead on the fate of a Swadian herdswoman seized by a vaguer raider and taken as his chattel to the slave market. How can we have queens and old stories when our warlike neighbors are vanquished and our land is at peace? Uh I'm inspect my leave. I guess there's no honorable way to declare a war. The only way we can really start a war is to just go up to someone and say, Here are my demands. Mm, yeah, this one's 300 too. Yeah, they're not joking with their security here. I mean, these are their only towns left. We sort of squash them as much as we could. Alright, any more hired assassins when I get a piece of this? Anybody? Ooh, dried meat. So rare to find dried meat. Now you'd think with as few lands as they had, they'd actually lose lords out, because there's just not enough to go around. But no, they still uselessly struggle. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's just burning from beggars. Doesn't really matter. Alright, let's go back to Zaharim and see if we can uh, sign some more land. Fire Larkin. Yeah, he keeps getting his ass kicked. I don't even have to do it most of the time nowadays. Oh, 
The Kane of Vegas is no more. <laughs> We finally got the message. Oh yeah, again, no three-way battles. It is not a thing. Mm, if I could get a war party together, and then wait until Armada leaves here, and then take him out. And he already left. Well, that's shit. Oh, Lord Belia. You are currently hunting forest bandits, so you seem to have lost your quarry. Alright, then. Hmm. Should I force a war? I really don't think it's a good idea, though. If I was force a war, I guess Swadia. No, 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 no. Because then all the lords will go. All the remaining lords will go to the Rodok. So I probably want to fight the Rodok first. But then what do I do? Hmm. Yeah, why is everyone gonna go in exile with me? I don't give a shit about them. And I can't kick them out either because then they'll join some of the other lords. And they won't let me throw them in prison. Which would be the good in-between. Instead, I guess I gotta deal with these people just loitering all over my damn joint. I can't host any feasts or anything to improve relations with my own lords. Alright, Yellen it is. I guess Lord Rake it is, then. Four of the vassals. Uh, no one's at negative 50, so that's all for now. Wait, no, wrong button. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what I'm looking for. Let's just get out of here and zoom out a bit. Make sure, uh, I guess the fastest way to check to see if one was betrayed is if all of a sudden a bunch of our territory now belongs to some random lord. <laughs> Alright then. Hmm. That would require me to actually find a Rodok and. Well, oh, our truce has expired. I expect them to declare war on us at any second. I mean, aren't they supposed to, you know, the whole curb power reason thing? You know, this nation's too powerful. We must go to war. But it's like, well, this nation owns every single other <laughs> territory. Damn, you really shouldn't be uh, kicking out so many of your people because uh, then I get them. Oh! Oh, you assholes think you can. Okay, you might have a chance. Fuck it! We're kidding! We're killing these people! Charge! We'll head straight into the center line! We're cavalry! We can pull this kind of shit off! And unless all of you hit the same tree! Like a damn domino effect over here. Oh yeah, because we only have 31, 39 people, they're gonna just go straight for us. It is wonderful, this makes killing them all much easier. Now we can just clear up the bandit menace, menace pretty quickly. It's all the idiots are gonna be coming straight for us, thinking that we're easy prey. Oops. Let's just uh, finish this battle first. Alright then, die, Sea Raiders, die.
Yep. Hit your horse. Sorry. Now who's even left alive? Shit. Nobody. That looks like you got knocked off your horse, lady. And yep. Yep, we killed them all. I do not want any manhunters. Ah, oh, sea raiders are the best prey if you need money. Well, anyway, uh, that's all the time we have for this episode, so thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you like, want to comment, subscribe, and remember to follow me on Twitter for channel updates. Fisher's Dogs and Cats. Whew. Uh, and whatever else I decide to put up there. So, goodbye, humans and non-humans again, good ever applies to you.